Maniac, the 1980 film was distributed by Analysis Releasing Corporation. It was co-written as well as starring uh, Joe Spinell. Uh, definitely one of the most interesting of the 80s flashers I have seen. Um, very deeply psychological. Uh, definitely one of the elements I really enjoy in films, especially horror. Um, it definitely does um, kind of keep you wondering what's going to happen next. Uh, so basically, Joe Spinell is a loner. He's somewhat of a landlord, looks over these apartment buildings, of course, duh. And um, he has sort of this, uh, this secret urge to go out and murder women. Um, after they're dead, he brings back their scalps and dresses uh, his collection of mannequins in their clothing as well as their, their hair. Um, so this serves as somewhat of a uh, sort of a, uh, a spirit board, if you will, in order for him to communicate with his dead mother, who happens to have been an abusive prostitute. Um, I don't know which part is the part that jacked him up more, if it was the fact that she was abusive or the fact that uh, pretty much everyone had a go at her. So he obviously does play the lead character, Frank Zito. He eventually does find uh, love with a photographer woman. He uh, sort of catches her taking his photograph one day, uh, tracks her down, they begin dating. Um, but of course things eventually do go south as um, I guess just the crazy kicks in. He decides that he's going to uh, take her to his mother's gravesite and um, then he just randomly decides to try to kill her. That didn't work out. He does wind up getting injured. Um, but he falls into somewhat of a hallucination when he gets home and um, sort of uh, sees his mannequins uh, killing him, whereas we later discover this is nothing more than just a self-inflicted wound. I would say best scene in the film, though, of course, is the opening sequence. I'm pretty sure everyone agrees uh, with um, Tom Savini, who is credited as Disco Boy, which I think is funny, but whatever. Um, he's just a random character in the film, not a lead. Um, although he does uh, definitely deserve better credit than just that. Um, so he did get the role because he had already pre-cast the head, um, so definitely a good way of sneaking your way into a movie is just to have your props ready, especially if they're modeled after you. But um, definitely one of the best effects I've ever seen, um, hands down, and um, it was basically achieved. They, he basically took a bunch of the lunch leftovers, stuffed it into the casting, and then just fired live rounds into it, so that's how you get that very lively um, graphic explosion. As far as, far as the fact, as well as the fact that um, it was filmed from multiple angles in slow motion, it's definitely a very beautiful, beautifully directed scene. Very awesome in its own right. Um, unfortunately, there had been talk of a sequel, which was supposed to be made, and uh, that didn't work out due to financing as well as uh, Joe Spinell's. Um, untimely death, but the sequel was to have been titled Maniac to Mr. Robbie, in which uh, Spinell would have played a children's uh, television show host, and this time around he actually goes around murdering the abusive parents of uh, his, his fans, uh, so there was definitely going to be a pattern there. There are just a few promotional uh, shots that can actually be seen on the 30th anniversary DVD, so that's probably the closest anyone would get to being able to view that film. And of course, in 2010, there was official word that a, a remake of uh, Maniac was going to be in the works, and uh, by November of 2011, Elijah Wood had already been uh, cast in the role of Frank Zito, and by December of 2011, uh, theoretically, filming had already wrapped, and we are expecting a release sometime in 2010. Obviously haven't had much word about that of when and if it will happen. Uh, but this one seems to have taken a different turn in the fact that um, it's very much point of view and uh, from the aspect that uh, Frank Zito just, uh, for some odd reason views himself as half angel, half demon. Um, you know, obviously I have nothing against the remake. I definitely want to see it before I uh, start talking smack about it. but. Um, the fact that Elijah Wood was chosen, um, I think that was a very well casting, especially because uh, he definitely can carry a psycho very well, especially with those crazy eyes of his. But um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I will talk to you later.